హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ టెక్నో రీస్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ న్యాచురల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ప్లీజ్ లైక్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ అండ్ క్లిక్ ది బెల్ ఐకాన్ టు గెట్ న్యూ వీడియో అప్డేట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ ఎస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ పార్సింగ్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఇన్ ఎన్ఎల్పి సో ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో వీ సో వాట్ ఈస్ మెయిన్ బై పార్సింగ్ సో దోస్ హూ ఆర్ న్యూ టు దిస్ లెక్చర్ just go through the previous concept in order to get more clarity about this so let us move to types of parsing so the first technique is top down parsing and second one is bottom up parsing coming to the first one so top down parsing it starts with the starting symbol and proceeds towards the goal so we know what is meant by start symbol and what are the terms that are used in this parts free construction so we saw them in our previous video so here s indicates it's a start symbol so we'll start construction from that symbol right so it is a process of construct constructing the parts free starting from the root and proceeds towards the leaves so here just like a normal tree here parts tree also it starts with the root node and proceeds towards the leaves so we can say that this procedure begins with the assumption that the input can be derived from the selected start symbol and that start symbol is represented with s so in top down parsing words of the sentence they are replaced by categories like so here words in the sentence are replaced by either the verb phrase noun phrase preposition phrase pronoun etc so we already know what is verb phrase what is noun phrase different kinds of phrases right so we are going to replace words in a sentence with these phrases so then here top down left to right and backtracking they are the search strategies that are used in this method so as a method is top down so here will will traverse the words from left to right or will traverse through the tree from left to right and backtracking approach is used so we'll see how to use that approach in example and in this case the search begins with a root node so that's what we are discussing from the beginning so it starts with the root node labeled s which is a starting symbol and then expands the internal nodes using next productions with the left hand side equal to internal node so we'll have set of productions here so by using those productions we'll expand the internal nodes and that expansion takes place until leaves are until we reach leaves so here leaves are nothing but terminals or parts of speech so if the leaf nodes or parts of speech if they do not match the input string say suppose if there is no match between the leaf nodes with the input string then in that case backtracking should be done so we must go back to the recent node and apply it to another production okay so let's consider the rule here rule is sentence s equal to noun phrase plus verb phrase plus preposition phrase so sometimes you can even take uh, noun phrase plus verb phrase so based on the given question we'll take this form or will select the form so let us take this example john is playing a game and these are these given rules or context free grammar so based on these productions you need to construct the past free so we need to start with the start symbol so take this as derives np vp yes we are uh, we derived so we formed this small tree and now these are nothing but parts of speech right so these are the leaf nodes here as and then you need to expand these nodes further so check np np production so np derives determiner and nominal noun 
So and we wrote it as NP derives determiner and nominal noun. And now check this or match this with the first word in the given string. So here if the part of speech does not match the input string, then backtrack to the previous node. Right? That's that is one of the important points here. So we saw that in theory part. So now match this determiner with the first word. So there is no match. John is not a determiner, it's a noun, right? So we can't take or we can't expand this NP using determiner in nominal noun. So let us take the second uh, sequence. So this it this first production fails. Let us try with the alternative production. So NP derives pronoun. Sorry, NP derives proper noun. Yes, NP derives proper noun. And now match this with the first word. Yes, John is a proper noun. Okay, so we don't have any problem. Now you can go with the second one. So I told you, you need to in this uh, in this top down parsing here you can observe the process as top down left to right and backtracking these are the search strategies that should be used in top down so we are constructing the tree from top to down and then we need to move from left to right and wherever it is required backtracking should be done so here as there is no match you need to backtrack to the previous node NP and try other alternative of that NP. So that's what we did in this case. Now, uh, as we completed this part, you can move to VP. So check VP production. So VP derives verb and NP. Yes, we expanded the tree. And after this, again, come to this part. Yes. So then let us move to this part. Now, John. So yes, there is a match between the previous word or part of this string with the string present in the sentence. And after that, second word in the sentence is ease. So here ease is not a verb, right? So we can't use this. So you need to remove this one. So if you move to the previous node, again, ease is not VP also. So again, backtrack to S. And what is the alternative of a production for S? It is NP auxiliary verb and VP. So instead of taking S derives NP, now you need to take this. So we should not consider this part now. So choose the second production. So if you choose the second production, we'll get S derives NP auxiliary verb and VP. Again, NP derives pronoun, uh, proper noun and proper noun derives John. So till here, it's fine. And then second word in the string is ease. Yes, ease is an auxiliary verb. So you can tag ease. And then expand this third part now. So third part is VP. So VP derives V and NP as per the given production. So VP derives V and NP. And now what is the third part in the given sentence? Playing. Yes. And after that move to this part. Now NP derives noun. So here in, uh, as per the given rules, NP derives noun. Yes. Yes. NP derives noun and then noun derives game. Noun derives game. So now we got the sentence John is playing game. So this is our final part script. So in this way, wherever backtracking is required, you need to move backwards to the previous node and then you need to compare that with the given string.
So here, uh, drop-down parsing technique, it has the advantage of never wasting time investigating the trees that cannot result in start symbol, which indicates it never examines sub-trees that cannot find a place in some rooted tree. So let us uh, move to the second example, that is Rahul is eating an apple. So here you can just see the, uh, this example with a single diagram. Because uh, in the first example, we already saw it clearly. So S derives NPVP, yes. Now expand this left side node. Take NP derives N. And then VP derives auxiliary verb and VP. Yes, VP derives auxiliary verb and VP. And after this, this noun derives Rahul. So noun derives Rahul. So wherever there are two possibilities, you can check the two possibilities. So whichever is apt or whichever is matched with a given sentence, you need to select that word. So Rahul and then move to second word. So it is auxiliary. Yes, auxiliary, it is uh, matched with the. So ease is an auxiliary verb. So you can take it as ease and expand this now. So VP derives, here we have second production, VP derives VNP. So VP derives VNP. And after this, expand this. V derives eating. Yes, the third word is eating in the sentence. And now expand article in noun, NP. So this NP derives article noun, so you can expand it. Check whether article uh, part of speech whether it matches with the word in the given sentence next word is an so there is a match so you can expand this article as an so you can take this alternative so even though np derives n or article n we can't take this as n because we have an article or determiner here so you need to take this production only so an and then expand n. So as n derives apple, you can take it as apple. And third example, the small tree shades the new house by the stream. So start with a start symbol. And here you can see s derives npvp. Now expand the tree from left to right. So np. Check the productions for NP. NP derives article NP, noun phrase. So check, uh, check which production to select here. So if you take adjective and N, so the is not an adjective. So you can't choose this here. So you need to select this article and noun phrase. And after this, take this one, verb phrase. So VP derives So you need to add one more uh, production here. V derives V and P. So according to that, V derives V and P. Now come here. Article. So check whether this part of speech match with the given words, words in the given string. Yes, there is a match. So you can use this production here, article, so the, and then expand NP. So NP derives adjective and noun because second word in the given string is small. So you can take this adjective. We don't have any problem, adjective and noun and move to this place now. So verb, uh, V derives shades. Yes, V derives shade, expanded, and then NP derives article np so np derives article np why we need to take that so if you take this article np find out the word whether it matches with the part of speech or not so the small tree shades next word in the given sentence is the the is an article so you can take that production article and np then you can expand this 
now adjective derives small and new so as word in this sentence is small take the small and then noun noun derives tree third word in sentence is tree so take it then come here article derives the and then np derives adjective noun phrase so find out the next word after the so next word after the is new so new is nothing but it's an adjective so you need to take this adjective noun phrase production so take the first alternative and then so we already compl completed this left sub tree so you can just expand this so adjective derives new so that we already saw and noun phrase it gives you n and np so expand the send now n is nothing but house as per the given sentence so expand it as house and np derives ppn so here np derives pp and np so this is you can write it as pp and np so some productions are missing in the given sentence so now np derives pp and np so check whether there is a match with the preposition and the word in the given sentence yes preposition by is a preposition so you need to take this one only and now so pp derives by now expand np so np derives article and np we need to select this after selecting this match this word with the word in the given sentence so this is the so as there is a match you can use this alternative no need to perform any backtracking now expand article so article is the so here article is the and expand this np so np derives n so here np derives n remove this one and check whether the last one is noun or not yes there is a match between this part of speech and word in the sentence so you can expand this n so n derives stream so in this way you need to implement top or you need to create a parse tree by using top down approach